anything else open? I should. Oh, stream mode is on. Okay. That works for me. And we're going to close this garbage out. Cool. Oh, I didn't do my uh, starting soon thing. Yeah, fuck it. Whatever. So if I equip this, is that what my character is going to look like? Damn, that's stupid. <sighs> so they don't have any black characters with the, the crossbody. <laughs> I guess I'll just stick with this. Five rounds plus three. No. So we'll create a new one. Okay. I don't know what the hell the realm server is. Some settings are locked by the template creator. Alright. I guess I'll just leave it, because I really don't know how the fuck to play Minecraft. Hey, Days, what's going on? <laughs> I was like, holy shit, where'd they come from? <laughs> I didn't think anybody was going to get in this quickly. How's it going? Let me take my watch off. Yeah, I mean, it was. it just caught me off guard. <laughs> I forgot I had the, uh, the sound stuff. Okay, what the hell? Uh, what's the difference? You got the, uh, the Burberry drip. <laughs> Uh... Oh, there's a whole story? Oh, this is the point. Let me fix this camera a little bit. Over a hundred years, the realms of earth, water, fire, and air worked on equilibrium with one another. Wait, was it just a random person, or do you know who it was? I'm just trying to drink this wrong.
Was it Tug trying to fuck with me? <laughs> That's crazy. Uh... Do you have a stalker? Actually, that's not funny to joke about. I apologize. See, that's exactly what I was thinking at first. Like, do people really still do that? <laughs> oh, shit. Do you have somebody that, uh, that would haunt you if they died? <laughs> Someone's telling me I'm not doing any damage right now. Oh, I have a sto uh, sword. Okay. I've been okay, uh, just, you know, waiting to start working so I can stop talking about it and finally be able to do shit in my life. <laughs> I'm actually supposed to go get, uh, fingerprinted tomorrow, um, but I'm still waiting for the, uh, like I said, the second background check to clear. Oh, I assumed you were working. Okay. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you. I'm just laughing at myself. Do you have a, um... I, I know. I lied. I'm sorry. <laughs> do you have a, um, do you have like a degree in anything or do you have like any type of work you normally work? I like how it's telling me to explore the realm, but it's guiding me. That's basically how I was. I got laid off in January, and then I was collecting unemployment until a couple months ago. And I thought I was still going to have it, and then I didn't. And then, uh, yeah, so I've been kind of fucked. <laughs> That's one thing I've been stressing out about. What is this? Oh, it's just for decoration? Why?
Okay, does this... No, it's just more... Shit, I was loving uh, being on front employment, but I also don't have a, at the time, I didn't really have a lot of, uh, you know, monthly expenses, so I could live off of it. <laughs> Shit. But, you know, if you did get a job, what would you want to do? Or, I guess, when? Um, so, are you, like, keen on working in, like, customer service? I know you said social anxiety, and I feel like that kind of goes hand in hand with not wanting to work, uh, doing, like, customer service and stuff. Because what I was just going to suggest is, I'd have to find out, my ex's mom was doing this program where, um, you get paid, I think, by the minute doing, like, customer service stuff for different companies. And uh, I think the pay was actually not bad. Yeah, same. I just hate it. <laughs> I don't like uh, dealing with people that are assholes. Because I've dealt with that a lot being in... Uh, IT and that kind of put me off as far as wanting to work with people I'm just really good at being nice <laughs> They actually put a lot of effort into this. I'm surprised. Well, you didn't have to talk to him? Was it, um... Was it, like, an online chat program? Hey, we got Richard in the chat. Was cracking. <laughs> yeah, I've been kind of, um doing random streams here and there but not for too long i'm actually not going to be streaming too long today either because i gotta get up excuse me i gotta get up early tomorrow gotta get uh government my fingerprints yo that guy that's in your uh discord that we were talking to his beats were actually not bad Moderation, so basically just backseat. Oh, that's really cool. Um, I mean, do you have any, um, like hobbies and stuff that you like to do besides streaming that you might be able to do for other people and, like, have that kind of be your job? Yeah. 
Yeah, I saw you uh, had posted about doing the listening album. I was wondering if that was actually going to be real. Not your thing, but the album. Uh... Yeah. The last song he put, it's funny because it was still good. I just didn't like the placement of the pianos. So I got into making candles and wax melts and been thinking of selling them, but. Yeah, but I mean, at least now, you know, you've got enough time to, um, to do it. Oh, that's kind of cool. As I have a um a friend that she makes uh soap. I don't know if she really makes a lot of money from it. But yeah, Richard, what I was saying is um yeah the last the last song you put in, like it it still sounded really good. I just didn't like what he did with the pianos. That's that's like the only fault to that beat. <laughs> Honestly, I think if he just got rid of the pianos or just didn't, um, I, I don't know. He's got like one part where they come in and it kind of seems random. And if he fixed that up or just removed it to, uh, entirely, I think the beat would be really good. Yeah, Daze, you, <laughs> what, <laughs> get into making beats and selling them. I don't know if I told you that, um, we can collab. Wait, you and the other guy or you? Oh yeah, you too. Yeah. I was gonna say I probably um I should have started doing uh Hey we got Evelyn in the chat too what's cracking <laughs> Dribby You should have called me uh <laughs> never mind I'm glad you didn't say that I was gonna say you should have called me um dirty sock boy <laughs> And just to clarify, uh, everybody else, this is not for me. For Diana. <laughs> How do I, um, show, oh yeah, this is the, uh, the Burberry skin I got. Can't you play this in, um, third person? Bust down Tatiana. Uh. Oh, I ended up uh, playing Skyrim for like the first time in forever today. And then I saw that I had um, made an account and I made it for something and then I got really depressed. <laughs> yeah.
And then did I decide to make a new character so I wouldn't have to be reminded of it? Nope, of course not. I'm too lazy. And I wasn't even that far in the game. What the fuck is this? Oh. You have found the Burberry water suit. Is this the whole game? I'm just gonna be defending animals. Spirit of the Equestrian Knight. You're going to need to... Get across the ravine. The fawn's double jump ability will be imperative here. Travel to the checkpoints as you go to save your progress. Oh. Oh no, you're good. Um. Actually, I um I enjoyed myself with Skyrim. I probably will play it a little more. I say that and then I'm not going to touch it again. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Oh shit. Okay. I think I got it. You dirty bastard. Oh, I got it. Still in the Oh no, you're good. Yeah, I think it might be kind of too late for you to get into it. Uh... <laughs> Unless you like, um, you ever play... Oh. I can't even compare them to Fallout. I mean, they're made by the same company, but still. I goofed again. This is ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Is this what I have to look forward to for the rest of the game? I can't break this. Can I just cheat and do this? I can't, uh, oh, can I get on over there? No. Oh, cause it, um, yeah, cause it came out, I think. No, I think we were still in high school. Unless you're about to tell me you graduated early, then fuck you. I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I think it was 2011. That's funny, because you and I, um, we had that discussion, what was it, a couple months ago, I think, and when it came out? <laughs> Uh, tool, t tool, not tool, 
uh, too cool for video games. I don't know how what what the hell is happening. This sucks. I remember you said that before too. <laughs> Honestly, video games should get you laid more. <laughs> Why am I so stuck on this? The sun is going down. It's getting darker. <laughs> Alright, is this it? Okay. I, I finally figured it out. I wasn't going far enough on one of the platforms. That was the worst part. How did they manage to make the beginning the worst? Never mind. Well, definitely... Uh, there's supposed to be checkpoints. You're talking about this, the, like, the circle that... Really? Okay. Oh, thank God it counted. Shit. Like... You talking about when it what comes out from underneath me when I do the double jump? Or are you talking about the Oh I never even noticed that. I have no idea. And it doesn't even really explain anything. Let's see. Uh Nope, nothing. Dirty bastard. I'm wondering if, um, um, like when they made this thing, uh, I don't know how I would, what I would call it or describe it as, um, like, if it's just showing what the effects are. So, you've got the double jump, and then I'm wondering if the bubbles are supposed to signify, like, the what looks like the clouds underneath. Or it's signifying those bubbles. Which, I guess, would make more sense. Oh, this is bullshit. Okay, so I gotta jump on this and then jump on that. Cool. <laughs> okay, that worked. <laughs> what? You rotten bitch. <laughs> okay, I jump and then it doesn't do the thing where it pushes me. Oh, okay, now it does it and then I fuck up.
you know, and I was going to play a really old game today, which was even more of a platformer, and I'm glad I did it, because I'm struggling right now. This is stupid. Oh, I actually did it. Alright. I don't think I was supposed to do that. <laughs> no! Let's not fuck this up right there. Watch everybody else playing this have absolutely no issue getting past that at all. <laughs> I'm trying to be sunk into chaos. You shall be able to make it any further. Oh. We got the Burberry box. No, I don't want to go back to the lobby. Interact with the Waystone to travel back to the... Oh. Right. Oh, wait, did I just... Oh, I'm supposed to go that way. Wow. Okay. It's located in a... Another round. Uh, oh, I have to go to the lobby. It's kind of cool. Is there another switch? There is. Okay. Oh. Did I just get lucky? I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> Oh, also, they actually have, uh, they have Minecraft Burberry clothing you can buy. Again, I wish I wasn't broke, because I would totally buy some. Yeah. It's an official Burberry and uh, Minecraft uh, collab. So yeah, they came out with this um, 
add-on. I don't know what the official term for it is. And then they actually have clothing that you can buy that's tangible that you can wear. Some of it looks kind of stupid, but um, again, I would totally buy it. Also, um, Crunchyroll and uh, Lady Gaga have a collab, and I'm so mad because it actually looks really good. And I bought uh, a couple years ago, Crunchyroll did a collab with uh, Megan the Stallion, and I bought a couple shirts, and I, I actually wear those every once in a while. I don't know if uh, if the shirt's clean or not. Otherwise, I would uh, I would show you. But that was pretty cool too. Okay, why is it not making me do the job? And if you want, I can um, the race. So I can send you the link. Uh, am I, am I supposed to do? Oh. Didn't it say it had to race? What am I doing? Oh, it refills. Okay. I think. How peaceful. How serene. <laughs> I may have fucked up. Nope. Nope. We got this. Yeah. I try to go through them and I, they don't go away. I think they just fill up your um, charges for the you know, that launch you up. Okay. Made it. Where's this stupid ass pouch? Interact with the waste zone and travel back to the lobby. I don't want to go back to the lobby. Watch, this isn't where I was supposed to go. There's no stone. Oh, 
I'm so confused. Where? <laughs> That's where the circles were. Watch, I wasn't even supposed to come here at first. Now I'm just stuck. Oh, wait. Oh. What is this? Just falls. Oh. <laughs> I've seen this. Does he just push her off the, uh... I'll have to see if I can show the reel later. But it's this woman that's putting up a sign, and then, I'm assuming her boyfriend, or it could be her brother, uh picks her up while he's doing while she's doing it and then just slams her on a table <laughs> I just love it when my laptop is digging into my wrist. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, like, yeah, look at the marks. That's not hair. <laughs> It'd probably help if I lifted my chair up. Didn't uh, sit like a Cretan. <laughs> now I feel too tall. Wait, this isn't where I just came from, is it? No, it's not. Okay. Ah, yes. This all looks very cool. There's so much to do. So much to do. I'm not getting bored whatsoever. They should give me free clothing after beating this, because this is stupid. <laughs> Shit, I'll take one sock. It don't even gotta be a whole pair. Just give me a Burberry sock and I'm straight. Okay. I really thought I just went into a circle. Cause that arch scared me.
But why is she right? Watch, I, uh, I didn't get all the, uh, circles, and I was supposed to. God damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, he is gonna do a restream. There's, um, there's this one guy, um, used to follow when I was doing the, uh, like the Forex trading and stuff. And he's gotten into where he wants to learn how to make a AR filters for like Facebook and Instagram and stuff. And he's been, uh, live streaming his process on YouTube. Actually, I, I helped him out. He, he had did a stream, uh, not yesterday, but the day before his audio sounded like absolute dog shit i'm like dude uh you should probably put on a filter <laughs> for your microphone in obs and that made a huge difference and then the other uh the funny thing too was he's using a digital camera as his webcam right and I had noticed during like the the first test where I commented about using a uh oh there was a lot of negative stigma about it. It's actually legit. It's just people are stupid like me and will blow their accounts and go super negative. I hate you. God damn it. Ugh. I wouldn't even be surprised if you had that all planned. Um Fuck you, Richard. <laughs> That was actually a good one. I mean, all yours are good. I knew it. And then, of course, you know, I get into rant mode and wanted to start defending it and shit, and then you pull this garbage. Uh, <laughs> but, um, as I was saying... As far as um, him using a digital camera for his uh, his stream, it showed that the card was full. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? So the same thing happened to him last night. And I'm like, dude, are you, like, recording uh, your videos through your camera deliberately through the uh you know the memory card or do you not put it in like a pc mode and he didn't even think that there would be a mode to try so that he wouldn't have to just use his sd card and record his uh his videos from his camera when he has it connected to his computer Also, so you really telling me that you sat there and was like, okay, let me figure out how I can fuck with people talking about crypto or Forex. Please be the last part. What time is it? Uh, 8.53. Uh. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't know if it was, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, topic related or just the word? Okay. So just the word stigma. That's fucking. 
Uh, were you on the toilet for that one, too? Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> There's a negative stigma about OnlyFans. I'm just trying to think what they would be talking about. Oh, so you don't even know if it was about OnlyFans specifically? Oh, you said it or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, you <laughs> just block everything else out. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, God. I wish I was uh, able to do that. <laughs> All I could do is just fucking troll people. There was actually, um, speaking of crypto, I had one guy message me on Instagram, and I already knew it was a scam because it was somebody uh, pretending to be someone else that I actually know. So he messaged me he was just like hey what's up i'm like oh nothing much i had to play with him a little bit pause and it was like oh yeah you know i'm just i'm trading over here you know i'm up like fifteen hundred dollars i'm like oh wow that's really good and you know i was like oh, i used to do trading and try to build a little bit of rapport with him so he was just like, oh, well, I can mentor you. And I'm like, oh, great. He's like, yeah, you got to, um, you know, you know how to get to, uh, like, do you use Cash App or Coinbase for your wallet? I was like, I got both. So he was like, oh, well, can you show me a screenshot of your Bitcoin page? And I'm pretty sure he was, he wanted my, uh, my address or something. Because I, I, I don't know if... I don't remember in Cash App if it goes straight to... Like, if you go to Bitcoin, it goes straight to your address. And I'm like, I'm not going to send this man a uh, screenshot of my fucking wallet. So, <laughs> what I ended up doing was... Hold on, let me see if I can uh, find it. Oh, damn. I... I blocked them, so I think it deleted the uh, the message, but I screenshotted it and put it on Facebook. No, I got close. Uh, I don't know if you could see it, but yeah, he said, uh, do you see the Bitcoin page on your uh, cash app? And I was like, yeah, hold on. <laughs> and I sent him this picture. <laughs> And then I blocked him. <laughs> uh. I know he appreciated that one.
but it's crazy. There's so many people that um make these fake accounts for uh, all these people that are into Korax and shit still. And the craziest thing for me is um. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't you dare. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, but there's all these people that, you know, make these fake accounts and stuff. And it's people that I follow. And then, or, okay, no. So I follow a lot of people that do the Forex stuff. And then you've got people that are scamming and pretending to be these big accounts that do the Forex stuff. But tell me why I always see people that I know that know the big people, but then also follow the fake accounts too. Also, I might be lost. They might. But this person didn't even follow me. Like, this one, they just sent me a message. It was like, yo, what's up? I'm like, oh. Yeah, fuck you. People really need to just do better on social media. Yeah, and the account names are... Like, I can understand if you looked at it really quickly and didn't realize that it wasn't somebody else like the difference between this one i showed you and the actual one is that the fake one had an underscore at the end of their name so you know i i could get it if you looked at it really quickly you still thought it was them but i, I already you know it was already foiled when it was like a message request like it wasn't just straight to my regular inbox But I already know there's people that would just ignore that and be like, oh yeah, it's definitely them. But I don't feel bad when people get their uh, accounts hacked, because usually they're doing something stupid. I've never had... Okay. I probably should not put that in the air. But, I have not had anything bad happen to me. But I also use two-factor authentication and all this other shit, so... I know. I know. I say that. Someone's going to watch this and be like, oh, fuck them. I'm going to get them somehow. But, like I said, I literally got two factor authentication on all my important stuff. Interact with the weight. There is no stone. I think this is broken. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier, but they, I couldn't collect them. They, I flew through them. There was one I went through like three times. It didn't do anything. And then watch I kill myself, and then it takes me either right there or um, it fixes everything. I'm just going to fucking jump off. Ah.
Okay, this is different. So which one's the next island? That is, uh... Not a usable air balloon. Oh. I just fucked myself. Alright. Let's try this again. Look, I, I flew through it. Yeah, and then when I fly through it, it fills up my uh, charges. Maybe it's this island? Oh, shit. Oh, you dirty bastard. <sighs> Fuck you. Damn, what the fuck did you send me? Part-time night tra valet trash porter. Thirteen fifty a month. Damn. I mean, I try to. Honestly, if I could find shittier games, I would play them. And when I downloaded this, I just wanted the Burberry skins. I didn't know there was going to be all this garbage with it. Alright, is the pouch here? Yeah, this sucks. I think something's broken. Something has to be fucked up. Okay, yeah, I can't, I can't do this. I can't. No. Oh, okay. Um, so. Oh, do I? Oh, I gotta download GOG, don't I? Fuck. I don't know if you've ever played, uh, Jazz Jackrabbit. Okay, so it's a really old, um, actually that's dumb, let me not do that, uh, 
Okay. I say that, and I'm going to fucking do it anyways. Mm. I'm already logged in. Oh, I am. Okay. Oh, I should play through... Um... Stranglehold again. That game is awesome. I love that fucking game. Alright. But it's it's made by uh Cliff Blazinski, the uh the guy that made gears. This game's old. Really fucking old. <laughs> Also, I'm going to show you this program that I got that I use to manage all the music that I've got installed on my computer. So, I don't know if you've heard of Rune. Let's see. <clears throat> I haven't really told too many people about this because this is more of like a... I would want to say like an audio file kind of thing. But look at how it uh organizes everything. Yes, this isn't this is ass. <laughs> I don't know if it's supposed to be on there or not. <laughs> Actually, let me um I'll turn my There we go. So I've been going on like a mixtape download re uh, binge recently because I was trying to go through and find all the mixtapes that I used to listen to back in the day and then try to get into some um, into the, some stuff that I haven't in a while. Also, this Freddie Gibbs mixtape, very old, but it's got a shit ton of stuff. Okay. So... You can look at it like iTunes in a way as it does have your your library on there. But it's got a bunch of cool features on here. So one thing that they just added, which is awesome, is called Rune Arc. So it kind of turns your... Yo, I didn't even think about that. It does. Oh my god. I need to find my um, Zoom charger. I have my Zoom somewhere. I don't know where it is. But this has it where um, where it'll essentially turn your music library into like its own Spotify or Apple Music or whatever you want to use. So I can stream all the music that I have saved on my laptop outside of my network so you know say you're somebody that has a lot of uh that's funny it does rhyme with i never even caught that either jesus christ <laughs> but it um yeah so if you're somebody that has like a lot of music that isn't saved on um or you know that's not accessible from uh, like Spotify, because you know, music streaming services don't have every single album available. They've got most of them, but not everything. And you do happen to have it uh, on your own device, you can access it somewhere else. <laughs> but it'll automatically find album art covers for you, it'll um, like update track names and also what it does is you can use it to like i think the biggest part of this is say you're somebody that has like a a multi like room speaker setup so you would have your main device oh i thought i figured itunes would automatically do that and this even has like artist information and different pictures and stuff too you know like stupid bio or whatever but you can actually um control like 
what different speakers are listening to from the program. So as far as like the mixtapes and stuff, um, I don't know if this stuff was already added. Um, in the the track file or if rune actually just sees where you know where you have the song saved and if you also have the um like the album art in it or something i don't know i haven't used itunes in such a long time yeah it could be the metadata that it's pulling up for the mixtapes but for like full full albums like for this you could do um uh where would i go edit yeah it's runes database to find better match and you know you have like runes version or you can go based off of how you actually have it set for the file name or you can just edit it off the fly oh okay But it's it's really nice. The the only <laughs> the only thing is you have to pay to use the program. Oh, did they change it for um for Mac? Because they still call it iTunes on uh Windows. Only album I ever bought on iTunes is uh Danny Brown. Let me see, Rune. So, I'm going to let you in on a, a little secret. Normally, you have to pay for Rune. Either you do a, um, a monthly or annual subscription. Uh, where is the pricing for it? Or you can just buy it out... Uh, pay for it outright and get a perpetual license but i think it's like seven hundred dollars oh yeah pricing here we go yeah so you either do uh thirteen dollars a month or whatever it is for the year at oh so 120 dollars a year which is crazy you might as well just pay for the lifetime yeah it's it's insane i have a uh, license that I don't have to pay for because um, I signed up to be a um, a re I don't I don't know if they would consider it a reseller but I have a a domain that I have set up that I was gonna create a um, a home theater company with so I yeah yeah so like an affiliate. And they just gave me a, a license that I haven't had to pay for at all. I don't know how long it's going to last. It just says, you know, as long as your account's in good standing. Uh, yeah, your complimentary subscription will auto-renew on September 11th if your account is in good standing. I pay nothing for it. So honestly, if you've got your own uh, domain, then I could try to find the uh, people pay for it. People use this program. It is a very big, big, big software. And I mean, I I love it. I it's on everything: Android, um, Apple. And I think. Oh yeah, so you can uh, tie title Cobas to it. I don't think Sp I think I don't think Spotify works or is an option. But it it's really good if you again if you're somebody that has uh, like multiple speakers and like multiple rooms and stuff, and you want to be able to 
you know, have like one room, say you play like one song in your library or an album or whatever, and then you have another room where someone else is listening to to different music on the that's being hosted on the same device, you can do that. Yeah, see, audio file, multi-room. And then this is the um, their network storage device that you can buy from them. I just use my, but you can you can use the um, the software that they built for it. Um. I was gonna ooh, we got Squanko in the building. What's going on? I was just showing uh my friend Richard this program I use called Rune that's really nice that I use to organize my uh music and use that to to listen to. Actually, I don't know if that would actually be something you would uh want to look into. I'm doing pretty good today. How about yourself? Oh, uh, Swanko. Uh, this is my friend Richard that I was telling you about that I added into the server that also makes music. I don't know if you could, how long you've been in here, if you've seen any of his messages, but Squanko, Richard, Richard Squanko. Oh, you were? Oh, okay. I've been kind of absent from everything, so. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I got you guys acquainted with each other. <laughs> but also, look at this. I have 800 albums saved on my computer. Oh, okay, that's not a problem. I don't know if I'm going to be on for too long. This is nothing. Like, my uh, YouTube music library is probably, uh, I was going to say triple that amount, but I don't know. I have, I have a lot of music. No, oh, there goes the ass again. Also, the other, um big thing with this i don't know if itunes allows you to play can you add music from uh oh yeah you should be able to i was gonna say add music from uh like your hard drive that you didn't buy from itunes and be able to play it and i'm sure it supports uh does it support flack Yeah, as you see, I just bought, I just have this one album. No, I don't have the VeggieTales uh, soundtrack. Yo, Richard, <laughs> you remember? <laughs> you know, uh, Dean used to watch VeggieTales a lot as a kid. He used to, um... This was, I mean, this was a long time ago. He used to live next door to my cousin. And, um, I don't know if his, uh, if his family ever moved from the house that they had in, uh, is it Fremont or, uh, I think was it technically Fremont, but uh, this is probably around when we were like five or six. And I would go over there, and he would be watching it. <laughs> oh, but yeah, Squanko. So, um, what I was showing Richard was, I don't know, do you have a big library? Even like, oh, I mean, your music's on 
Spotify and stuff. So you don't really have to worry about that. But they have this set up to where you can stream your music that you have on um, on your computer, like outside of your network. So if you're somebody that rips a lot of CDs that just aren't available, or you know if you do have a lot of custom stuff that's not on streaming services, you can just stream it from your computer. Uh, it is not. <laughs> it is not. There's a 30-day free trial, but it's uh, $13 a month or $120 a year or $700 a year. Yeah. Or not a year, a lifetime. But if you're somebody that is like an audiophile and has a lot of... Like, I have a lot of music that's ripped in with flack, and it's at 16-bit, 24, uh, was it kilohertz uh, sampling rate? So, it's supposed to be really high fidelity. Uh, it'll play all that stuff. What the fuck is my dad sending me? But, it's really, again, it's really good if you have like multiple rooms set up with different speakers. Right. I know, uh, did Spotify finally come out with their hi-fi shit? Because they've been promising that for a while. And that was one reason why I didn't stick with it. Oh. Yeah, they teased it back in 2017. Yeah, Apple Music does have lossless, but uh, it was a high quality. But I don't think it's like. Yeah, but I I don't think it's I still don't think it's higher than like 320 uh kilobit per second. Now, with, like, the um, Apple lossless, I don't think you can um, utilize it with, like, um, uh, what is it? With AirPods. Let me see. Does Apple AirPod Max work with ALC? Oh, okay, so it does. Never mind. There was something that I thought it didn't support. So when it comes to sound quality, there's no value for some setting when it comes to audio quality. Yeah, so they don't, they, um, I don't think they support the, uh, the lossless audio. <laughs> but I'm double checking. Which is, again, it's stupid. Uh,. Yeah, it supports AAC, but not ALC. I 
so I don't <laughs> I don't know if it like uh if it takes out the quality. I mean, you know, the the biggest thing really and I know you know this too is really how the music is engineered. So, you know, you could have a song that has like the highest bit rate and takes up a lot of space but it still could be still sound like dog shit now i'm not uh happy to admit this but uh one of the greatest sounding like sonically albums that i've heard besides uh michael jackson's thriller is um r kelly um I don't oh I don't have that album on here. Is it Love Letter? I should know because this is one of my favorite albums. Yes, this. Now I'm pulling up eBay. If you have really good headphones or a really good setup and you listen to this album it sounds so good i love the album too i uh, i don't like supporting him but and it is not like a um i was going to see like a newer um album but his older ones too were very like sexually charged and stuff this is not like that at all it's more of him talking about love and not like actually doing shit it's so good it's it's so good i man and I don't see anybody play it. I don't see anybody listen to it. It's absolutely insane. I think it's one of his best albums ever. <laughs> and I know I'm stuck on this program. Because I'm trying to get into really being able to learn how to explain shit to people. And I would like to be able to not sell it but my the biggest thing i want to get into besides like acting and um well i guess acting yeah but uh is getting into like home theater stuff and this would be something i really would want to push people to get not just because yeah maybe i would resell it for a higher price than what it's offered but i think it is very very nice Got all my uh, Utada Hikaru, Hik Hikaru, Hikaru albums. I love this album too. <laughs> I also have The Police, all the Beatles albums, Suicidal Tendencies. This is a fun album, Snoopzilla and Dame Funk. So. You know when Snoop Dogg was, uh, I'm going to put my camera back on, here we go. So you know when Snoop Dogg had changed his name to Snoop Lion for that really terrible reggae album he made? He has a side project <laughs> with um, this producer called Dame Funk, and he changed his name again to Snoopzilla just for this. That album's really good too. This is actually one of my one of my most favorite albums of all time. Oh god. Uh we're getting into Ruben Slick territory. Let me get past that. Uh <laughs> I got all the Prince's albums I need to go through. Pink Floyd. Phoenix is really good. Hmm. 
Also another one of my favorite albums. Sir Lucius Leftfoot, the son of Chico Dusty. I don't think that album gets enough praise. Mr. Motherfucking Esquire. <laughs> Neutral Milk Hotel. When you were young, you were the king of carrot flowers. No. All right. Okay, why is this not popping up? GOG Galaxy. Is that what that is? Because I don't remember where I downloaded this from. I thought it was from this weird Japanese, um, like, tr I don't know if it's like a trading card game or what. Um, Honda. Yeah, Honda Mew Starlight. I think that's. Or Mio Honda. Oh, yeah, so that's definitely not it. Yep, this is exactly where I got this from. I don't know how this game works. I don't know why it exists. Uh, <laughs> I just saw this and thought it was really nice, and I use it as my wallpaper. I thought you were gone. <laughs> yeah, no, I was showing him. Uh, yeah, get the God. I was showing him where I got my wallpaper from. I should use this one instead. It's some game called Starlight, but I, I, I don't know how it works. what to do I wanted to look into it when I first heard about it and then I just was like oh this is uh weird I should that's actually a good idea but I don't know if I should stream the whole process of me just trying to figure out how it works to get into it or if I should after the fact Oh, God. I mean, yeah, you can do that. Fuck. I just changed the password for this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, so it is. Oh, that's because I use my password manager in Edge to do that. You know how many people are horny on main? That people shouldn't even care about that anymore. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, Squanko, you missed it. I was playing uh, Minecraft earlier. I kind of wanted to... Uh, uh, what the hell was it? Um, tell you how to get this uh, this collab that I, that I found. But now that you're here, I'll just show it to you anyways. It sucks. At least what I'm working on is horrible. Let me see Minecraft. I'm only going to play like a couple seconds of it just so you can see it. Get into it. Yeah, yeah. Get into it. Oh. 
All right, I appreciate it, Richard. I'll join yours once I get off here. Like I said, I'm not going to be on here too long. But look, my boy <laughs> got that drip. Where is it? Uh, how do I see? Uh, I still don't know how the fuck this game works. Oh, Marketplace. That's what it is. Uh, my content. Yeah, so Burberry has a collab with uh, Minecraft. So they made their own world, which looks cool. And it's got like a whole story mode and stuff in it. The part that I'm working on is awful. But. Yeah, now I can get out of here. I just wanted to. Oh, I'll show you the different skins that they have so they got you know they got some cool skins on here i'm just using this one because he's got the cross body bag but Burberry. They have actual clothing you can buy. That would be really cool. Oh, you know what you should do? So, <laughs> there's this one guy that I'm friends with. He's getting into making um, AR filters or just getting into like augmented reality. The scarf is cool. I do have to say the scarf is nice. Some of the stuff they have looks like bullshit. But he's learning how to make AR filters, and it's not even that hard to do. You should make them uh, with your emojis for Twitch, and then people can use them on uh, Instagram and Facebook. And then they have, like, a whole certification program you could take, and um, it's free to get into. I was playing with it a little bit because I was watching him do a live stream on how to um, set it up. Actually, here, I'll, I'll show you and I'll send you a link to it, too. Um, uh, I don't know if he already did the certification or he's going through the process. I just saw him um, watching the uh, tutorials on how to use the program. So I'm assuming he hasn't gone through the certifications. I feel like he would have already known how to do some of the stuff. But yeah, it's just um, sparkar.facebook.com. And you can sign up, get started. And this is the, I have the program installed on here too. And it's really not that hard. Like if you already have the, um, like the image saved on your computer, you could just upload it and it will just already make the filter for you basically. So it's just a, you know, simple editor. Um, so do AR library, do blocks. Uh, or, I want textures. 3D objects. Uh, oh, fuck your chair. But I don't think that's going to work for someone's face. And it's free. I don't think you have to pay to upload it at all. Um... I don't know if it's, uh, is it distorting it at all? I don't know, but 
I had put makeup on this guy and it didn't wasn't that hard to do. I think it's on him. Oh, yeah, so it's on. And then you can fuck with it with this. <laughs> That's actually kind of creepy. Yeah. So, I like how it gives you the preview. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's kind of racist. Let me uh, get rid of that. <laughs> All right. So here, I'll put it in uh, the Discord. And I thought maybe it would be good for me to learn how to do it, even though I don't think I'll ever use it. But actually, um. Here, I'll show you my friend that does it. Uh, I think he's on now. Oh, no, he was just doing the test. Oh, wait, is he live? But to watch the Learn Augmented Reality with Space Spark AR video. And yeah, the that's second one was him. Create Your First AR Effect. Okay, we got some really good notes in there as well. Um, So day one is day one is in the books. Okay, now... We are moving on to day number two, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Day number two, day number two, day number two. Let me get some day number twos in the chat. Honestly, I might. Uh... Contest today. <laughs> we in there. All right. So with that being said, man, let's go ahead and kick this video off. Um, let's go ahead and do so. Okay. Nah, but he's really cool. I used to um follow him when 4X was big. <laughs> Man, then I helped him uh, a little bit with his audio on his stream too, but he's really cool. But he had God, how big was the um the company he had? I was not really a company. Like, he had a Telegram chat, and people were under him. Because you had to pay a subscription through this one company in order to get access to, like, the tools for um, doing the Forex stuff. And I know he had thousands of people under him. And he's really good. And he's really, like, he's fun to listen to. Like I'll even um I'll send you the Did I send you the YouTube thing? Oh no. Well I'll send you the Spark thing and then I'll send you his YouTube thing. But honestly I'm probably gonna get off and just watch that because I I wanna kinda stick with it. Like I said, I don't think I'm ever gonna use it. Unless, oh. What, the, uh, the AR stuff? No, like, um, so as far as what I've seen with this, it's just like filters you can use. You know how like Snapchat has filters or if you use Instagram stories and um you know you do like video calls on uh like Facebook and stuff and you can put like different pictures and shit that alters your face. It's that kind of stuff. But I'm assuming this will translate into other programs because I know this he's really big into like Facebook meta and like web three and all this shit. So I'm assuming his idea is if he learns this, he'll be able to learn how to create assets 
that can be used within meta. I mean, you mean it's like a deep fake thing or just take, um, I mean, I think they have filters where you can kind of do that. So it might, I mean, it might be possible even with how you're thinking about doing it. So, oh, I'm sure it's already available to the public because you really because people do like the deep fake porn and like videos and stuff all the time, and I'm sure it's not anything that's hard to get into. I hate this fucking guy so much. I hate that he's the guy that they use to do the tutorials for this. I hate his voice. I hate his fucking face and everything. I've never seen this Shrek deep face. Yeah, so what they're talking about now is... I have no idea who he is. It's just the second time I've seen him, and I'm sure he's in all of these tutorials. But... What they were talking about is, um, like, if you just have an image, you can drag it here. It is an asset, and then you can upload it and use that as, like, a filter and fuck with it and stuff. See? Maybe this is what you need. Or is this this might be different, I don't know. I can't really hear it cuz I don't have it too high. I need to talk to him about his OBS setup too cuz it's kind of weird. look here in the bottom left hand corner you're gonna see again your assets tab so we have uh i'll do it again i'll bring it all the way from from at the beginning so i'll delete it here real quick and again the png if you're following along the png is actually on the website so let me pull that up real quick if you look at if you're watching the video simply scroll down a little bit scroll down a little bit and then you're gonna be able to see the additional asset right there. Simply download it, um, you know, come back, pull your video back up, and then go ahead and open up Studio, right? Open up Studio to a brand new project. And once you have it opened up in the bottom right hand, or excuse me, bottom left hand corner, all right? In the bottom left hand corner, you're going to see your assets folder. Then you're gonna wanna press the plus symbol. Once you go ahead and press that plus symbol, then you're gonna want to uh, import from your computer. All right, typically me, honestly, I like to just open up my viewfinder, drag and drop things in. So then that way, if I need to bring in more than one thing, my viewfinder is always still open and I can just keep dragging. So that's typically how I move. Um, so we're gonna name this texture. Uh, we'll keep it pop texture because we're importing it from another project. But again, I'm a big proponent on being very, very meticulous as it pertains to your file organization and file naming, okay? So I'm sure as projects get a little more difficult, uh, we'll, we'll get into that a uh, little bit as, as, as well as we move forward, all right? Let's go ahead and roll the video. Because it's a little late. Yeah. Oh, I got my dog Yoshi in the cut too today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yoshi in the cut with me, man. So we working, bro. It's gonna... Y'all gonna see, man. A month from now, y'all just gonna see. All right, we work. Let's see the asset panel and release. 
it you know exists there as an asset but it's in, inside of my add bounds. Next I need to add a face mesh object uh, that I can assign that texture to. There are lots of different object types inside Spark that are generic objects that use the construct palette tree. So they don't need to bring them in as an asset. They all exist underneath the add object panel. And if I go to add object, you'll see that we have one here for face mesh. So that it's selected, I'll click insert. Okay. Okay, okay. So he said we're gonna go into studio and we're going to go into our scene and he said type in face mesh once we type in face mesh it's oh you guys can't see the menu i do not like that about this all right so once you go ahead and press plus again i, I have to remember to talk through these so right here you're going to press plus in your scene sector press the plus symbol then you're going to go ahead and type in the word face and then you're gonna see face mesh and face cracker. We're gonna go with face mesh and then press insert, okay? Now, m on mine, I don't see absolutely anything, but that's my fault because I have not turned on the video in the top left-hand corner, okay? As soon as I tap video, I select my people. So, God. It's taking too long to get to where I thought it was gonna be. Uh, <laughs> So, but it's interesting. I, I think it would be nice to at least learn how to do it. Who knows? Maybe it would turn into something. Oh, shit. They got the um moist critical uh, moist meter for Modern Warfare 2. Hmm. Oh, and I was going to tell you, so Maddie was talking about um, getting a vinyl player or record player, and I told him he should get this one, but I wanted to buy it, and then I found out it was sold out. This fucking thing. It's a portable record player. It was only two hundred dollars. I'm so mad. Oh shit, really? <laughs> I wouldn't bring it anywhere. I would just keep it as a collector item. I spelled vinyl wrong, I know. Yeah, actually, um, when I get my when I get an apartment, I just want everything to be white and purple. <laughs> we got this uh, oh, pink suitcase player. Yeah, R.I.P. to a real one. <laughs> hey, what's going on, Tug? <laughs> yeah, you missed it. I was uh, I was playing the greatest game of all time, uh, Minecraft, because they have a collab with Minecraft. <laughs> Actually, let's see what the, um, I forgot what the, what the hell is it? What the collection looked like. You can get a scarf for $250. $500 bucket hat. 
Oh, it's funny. I thought you were saying uh, Tug was playing hentai. I'm like, yo, where was I for that? The Colton's. That reminds me, I went to school with a girl with the last name Colton. And then she got mad because I was in math class with her one time. And I did better than her on... Uh, my on this math test that like everybody else did pretty bad on and my grades were worse than everybody's <laughs> just in general not for the uh uh for the test like i said i just did better than everybody did but... <laughs> like i don't i don't know i don't like the mixing of the minecraft and burberry in this sense It is too it is too drippy for the hood. I agree with you. Yo, three grand for a gabardine car coat. I don't know, his face is weird. That definitely says five hundred and seventy dollars for a t shirt. Jesus Christ. This is a cool sweatshirt. Never mind, it's a thousand dollars. And it's got this. Who's wearing this? Who is wearing this? Mama told me not to sell work. Seventeen five eight color t shirt. <laughs> Hey, just do that. Get the uh, Minecraft uh, Squanko collab. $910 for a sweatshirt. This is... I mean, this looks crispy. This looks, this looks absolutely perfect. I don't know if it's just because it, uh, it's a little compressed. It looks like I could just fold it and break it in half. Got a $570 t-shirt. Gotta be fucking kidding me. And that's it. Three flowers and then Burberry and the Minecraft look. <sighs> yeah, let me just book a virtual appointment. What the fuck? I mean, that's kind of cool, though. I wish I was as rich in general. Yo. Do they really have somebody that just finds the clothes for you and shows you? Oh, is, uh, is Maddie Daddy loaded? <laughs> is that... <laughs> I'll start hitting him up when I see uh when he when I see he's in your streams. <laughs> that is crazy. I can't believe this shit's that expensive. Oh, and then Polo has a collab with Fortnite. Oh shit. It already came out. Where's the Fortnite? Where's Fortnite? But they got these boots that are coming out that I want to get so badly. You have no idea. I got to see if I can find it.
this. They're coming early next year. And I think you can actually buy them and wear them. Tell me this is not the greatest looking boot of all time. Tim Moon shoes. <laughs> I need to find a pair of those. I'll rock those. But you're going to be able to wear these. These are better than the uh, the Marty McFly shoes. I don't care what anybody says. I would kill for these. And then watch their like five, six, twelve hundred dollars. $1,200. But the other, um, like, 125 is a lot for a shirt. Cap? You say cap? <laughs> I'm surprised the hat's only seventy dollars. Granted, that's still a lot. Uh but hey, they're they're doing better than Burberry right now. Like I would wear this. Like this is this is tasteful. The Burberry stuff is stupid. <laughs> okay. So, the Back to the Future shoes. If you get the ones that automatically lace. Yes. And light up. But I don't know. These are clean. And the problem is, I I kind of made a commitment to myself that I was no longer going to uh, buy dark colored clothing as far as, like, black and, like, really dark stuff, which sounds kind of racist, but <laughs> I'm trying to brighten up my life, you know? My dad sends me so much fucking bullshit on WhatsApp. I'm racist. It's it's the white side of me. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Just call it out. This it is what it is. <laughs> what the hell is this? I'm trying to think if there's anything else I've seen. Uh, the live stream. Oh. Well, yeah, we missed that. <laughs> Polo Stadium. Play for the chance to earn select items from the Polo Stadium collection in Fortnite. Ooh. <laughs> Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh actually um Oh, I think I got it folded up. There's this clothing company I like called Mishka and I think it's like the last black shirt I bought, but it's a mix of Dragon Ball Z and their branding. Let me see if I can find it. It actually looks kind of cool. Why 
ってるパンが I don't know if you can see it, but. Man, um. It's funny because I'm not even a big Dragon Ball Z person. <laughs> I just saw it because it looked cool. And it's made by one of my favorite artists. Uh, let's see. Cream. Oh, I didn't know he had his own shop. I don't think there's anything on it. Oh, yeah. Hand painted bottle. Actually, let me go to his Instagram. Because what I want to do is, um, once I get my shit together, I want to start a clothing company, and then I wanted to see how much he charges for commissions and have him do a couple of things. So he, I, I don't know if you heard of uh, Czarface. It's Inspected Deck from Wu-Tang Clan. Um, this rapper, Esoteric, and I forgot who the producer is, but he makes all the album covers for them. And I don't know if you're into MF Doom, but they also have a two collab albums together. Uh, Czarface is awesome. I love Czarface. Yeah, hold on. Let me... Uh... So, actually, I have this album on vinyl, but I got the special edition that they uh, released for it. Oh, God. I should see how much that stuff costs now that he... Uh, the MF Doom passed away, which is crazy. I still can't believe he died. Okay. Okay. So this is the um, Czar Face Meets Metal Face uh, special edition. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Cover that they had uh, re released. And then I have uh, the sequel. Oh, that's going to be kind of hard to look at. Uh, super what and then this is an exclusive cover too from that was on MF Doom's website I'd like to be able to buy a lot of MF Doom's records I don't know if if mm, food is still on sale Ooh, yeah, skateboard deck. Oh, it is. Oh, no, that's, yeah. Oh, it's only $35. I thought I'd seen something that said 80 I was about to lose it. This is, oh, yeah. I forgot. I'm just, uh, just chatting right now. I guess I could change it to that.
there. <laughs> yeah, you missed it. I was going over the... Um, they have a collab with Burberry. This is bad, Rich. But no, I was going over some of the vinyl that I have. Actually, let me see what else I have. I got um the Kiro Kiro Benito Bug Snacks single vinyl where it's a strawberry. Nope. <laughs> and the strawberry on here is scratch and sniff. And then I've got my guilty pleasure, even though I haven't listened to this uh, album, this single is on, but Kings of Leon. <laughs> I love them. I'm not joking. Like their earlier albums, fantastic. They're weird, but it's odd. I don't know how to explain it. I think it's just that it's weird. Boom Yards, Danny Brown, James Blake. Uh, I got the Sorry to Bother You soundtrack. Yeah, I'll pull this out. Oh, shit. Ooh, 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 where is it? Uh, That's cool stuff. So I've got Big Baby Drum on vinyl. Discs are yellow. <laughs> and then I don't know if you've seen the movie Sorry to Bother You, but I've got the original score by Toon Yards on vinyl. And I think this is... Uh, just black. It's just black vinyl. And then you got Ra Ra Riot, originally from Syracuse. I don't know why this uh I found this vinyl in Georgia, but I saw it and I was like, oh, I need to buy it. <laughs> Got to rep Syracuse whenever I can. And I've got a bunch of other ones. I got um, a bunch of old stuff that I, I took from my aunt. They had, um, she was living at my grandparents, and then she moved out with her uh, fiance to Florida, and he left a bunch of old shit. Like, he's got a bunch of Barry Manilow uh, vinyls that I took. Um... The song stuck in my head, and I don't want to really search for the uh, album, which I'm going to... Oh, it was the second one. B Billy Joel. The Stranger. And then my uncle gave me a bunch of like nursery rhyme vinyls from when he was a kid. Like I got um not not like nursery rhymes, but there was like some Disney stuff and uh like kid stories. Box. 
to find uh, a better way to store this stuff. Peter Pan. Alright. So like I don't know if, like, this stuff's worth anything. I don't even know if they work. Because this says, uh, 1963. So I got that one. God, I'm fucking up these sleeves. Babes in Toyland. And I haven't I haven't played any of these. I haven't used them. I Goldilocks and the three bears. <laughs> Songs from The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> These actually look like they're in good shape. I want to go through them, but I feel like I'm not going to like it. <laughs> Got Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. I'm going to look to see if that's worth anything. Rubber Ducky and other songs from Sesame Street. Shit, how old is this one? Copyright 1970. I don't know what that means. It's from 1970, I'm assuming. Walt Disney's Merriest Songs. Cinderella, the work song. Yo. The Snow White, Whistle While You Work. I wonder if this was the inspiration for Whistle While You Twerk by the Yin Yang Twins. Put your hands on your knees and then you go. Yeah. And I got I got a bunch of other like rap albums and stuff that I've collected. And some of them I have sealed up still. Some I um I've opened cuz I was just like I know I'm going to listen to it, so I might as well even though stream it <laughs> so but yeah i'm gonna um get up or get off because i gotta get off and i just jumbled all of that i have to get up early tomorrow maybe i'll be on tomorrow night i'm not 100 percent sure yet we'll see what happens but I hope everybody has a fantastic and wonderful night. I will try to uh, be more consistent streaming. I doubt that's going to be the case anytime soon, but you never know. If you wish for it, maybe it'll be here. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Anyways, good night. <laughs>